Hi, in this video we're going to look at the derivation of the least squares normal equations. To derive the least squares normal equations we first start with the objective function which is to minimise the residual sum of squares as defined here. This is actually a fairly simple problem in calculus. We differentiate with respect to the two unknown parameters alpha hat and beta hat and set the derivatives equal to zero and these conditions are given here in equations 1 and 2. Now from 1 and 2 we can derive the least squares normal equations fairly simply. First of all from 1 we have that the sum of y must equal n, the number of observations, times alpha hat plus beta hat times the sum of the x variables. And from 2 we have the sum of xi yi equals alpha hat times the sum of xi plus beta hat times the sum of xi squared. Now one interesting thing to note straight away is that from the first normal equation we can divide through by the number of observations n and we can write it as y bar equals alpha hat plus beta hat times x bar. In other words the least squares regression line passes through the sample means of the data. We've already shown that we can write the intercept alpha hat as y bar minus beta x bar and we've also from the second uh, normal equation got the sum of xi yi equals alpha hat sum of xi plus beta hat sum of xi squared. Now combining these two equations we can solve for the slope coefficients. First of all substituting for alpha hat we get the following equation sum of xi yi minus y bar sum of xi equals beta hat times the sum of xi squared minus x bar sum of xi. But we note that the sum of xi is just equal to n, the number of observations, times the mean of x, x bar. Therefore, we can simplify this a bit and write this as beta hat sum of xi squared minus n x bar squared equals sum of xi yi minus n x bar y bar. However, we can write this in a more convenient form. Consider first of all the sum of xi minus x bar all squared. If we multiply that out, then we get the sum of xi squared minus 2 x bar sum of xi plus n x bar squared. But notice that again the sum of xi is just equal to n x bar. So we can write this as the sum of xi squared minus n x bar squared, which is just the expression on the left hand side over here multiplied by beta hat. Similarly, if we were to take sum of xi minus x bar times yi minus y bar and expand that, then we would get the sum of xi yi minus n x bar y bar. That's left as an exercise for anybody who's interested. But notice again that this is what we get on the right hand side of this expression here. So we can write our equation for beta hat in the form beta hat times the sum of xi minus x bar squared is equal to the sum of xi minus x bar times yi minus y bar. And dividing both sides by this expression here, we can write this as beta hat equals sum of xi minus x bar yi minus y bar divided by the sum of xi minus x bar all squared. Now this is quite an interesting way to write this because if we were to divide both the numerator and the denominator here by the number of observations, then we get estimates of first of all the covariance of x and y and secondly the variance of x. So we can write this expression here as the ratio of the sample covariance of x and y to the sample variance of x. 